In this Romania travel guide, we are going to share an 11th tour to Romania, a beautiful country nestled in the heart of Eastern Europe. The country is well known for its captivating landscapes, rich history and vibrant culture. Dotted with charming villages, breathtaking mountains, medieval castles and vibrant cities. In Romania, you will find unspoiled nature walks hand in hand with modern lifestyle. In this Romania travel video, we will start our tour from the country capital Bucharest and conclude in the vibrant and second most popular city Cluj Napoca. Best time to visit Romania. The best time to visit Romania is during the spring, that is April to June and autumn, that is September to October, when the weather is mild and tourist crowds are fewer. This period offers comfortable temperatures for outdoor activities, vibrant landscapes and cultural events, making it ideal for exploration and adventure. For budget and tour related links, please check the description box below. The Tour Plan here, we will start our tour from Bucharest. Being the country capital, it is easier to reach Bucharest from the rest of the world. Day 1 On the first day of our Romania tour, we will go for a sightseeing tour in the Bucharest city. We will start our tour by visiting the Palace of the Parliament. It is one of the most iconic landmarks in the city. This massive building is also known as the People's Palace and is the second largest administrative building in the world. You may take a guided tour to explore its interiors. After visiting the Palace of the Parliament, we will head to the charming Old Town area known for its historic architecture, vibrant atmosphere and bustling streets lined with cafes, restaurants and shops. The Stavropolis Monastery is located in the heart of the old town. This is our next destination. Stavropolis Monastery is a small but beautiful Eastern Orthodox monastery known for its intricate architecture and peaceful atmosphere. After exploring Old Town, take a relaxing walk to Chismigyu Gardens. This is one of Bucharest's oldest and most picturesque parks. Enjoy the serene atmosphere here. You may stroll along the tree-lined paths and admire the beautiful flowers, fountains and lakes. Day 2 Our second day of Bucharest city tour will begin at the village museum. This is an open-air museum located in the Heratso Park. This unique museum showcases traditional Romanian village life. With over 300 historic buildings from different regions of the country. Next, we will spend some time exploring Hiratsu Park. This is one of Bucharest's largest and most popular parks. Enjoy a leisurely stroll around the lake, rent a boat or relax in the one of the park's many cafes and restaurants. Located near Hiratsu Park, Arc of Triumph, this is our next destination. We will end our day tour here. This is a triumphal arc that was built to honor Romania's independence. Day 3 On the third day, we will go for a day trip to Brasov, Peles and Brand Castles from Bucharest. We will start early in the morning to make the most of our time. First, we will go to visit Peles Castle. Peles Castle is approximately two and a half hours drive away from Bucharest. It is located in the picturesque town of Sinaya, 
must see its stunning architecture. Explore the lavish interiors of this new Renesa castle. Once, this castle was the summer residence of the Romanian royal family. Next, head to Bran Castle, often referred to as Dracula's Castle. It is located about 45 minutes away from Palace Castle. Explore the medieval fortress, which is perched on a hilltop. The castle offers grand panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Here you may learn about the castle's connections to Bram Stoker's famous novel while exploring its rooms and secret passageways. After lunch, we will make our way to Brasov, a charming medieval town nestled in the Carpathian Mountains. This is approximately 30 minutes drive away from Bran Castle. Spend the afternoon exploring Brasov's historic old town which is filled with cobblestone streets, colorful buildings and impressive landmarks such as the Black Church, Council Square and Rope Street, one of the narrowest streets in Europe. In the afternoon, drive back directly to Bucharest. Day 4 on the fourth day, we will go to Sibiu from Bucharest. The easiest option is to take a train from Bucharest to Sibiu. Trains depart regularly from Bucharest. The journey takes approximately 5 to 6 hours. Alternatively, you can take a bus from Bucharest to Sibiu. The journey by bus typically takes around 6 to 7 hours, depending on the traffic and the specific route. Nestled in the heart of Transylvania, Sibiu is a charming Romanian city. Its well-preserved medieval architecture, cobblestone streets and vibrant atmosphere make it a captivating destination for travelers. Day 5 Today we will explore Sibiu. We will start our tour by exploring Sibiu's charming old town known for its well-preserved medieval architecture and cobblestone streets. Here we will visit the beautiful Brukenthal Palace, which houses the Brukenthal National Museum, showcasing art and artifacts from the region. Next, we will climb the Council Tower for panoramic views of Sibiu's old town and surrounding area. Next. We will walk to the Bridge of Lies, one of Sibiu's most iconic landmarks. Legend has it that the bridge whispers the truth to those who stand on it and lies to those who pass beneath it. In the afternoon, we will visit the Evangelical Cathedral, one of the most impressive Gothic churches in Transylvania. Next, we will wander through Wet Square, located near the Evangelical Cathedral and admire the historic buildings. Day 6 Today we will travel from Sibiu to Sigisora. The most convenient way to travel between Sibiu and Sigisora is by train. The train journey is around 2.5 to 3.5 hours long. Upon reaching Sigisora, we will go to explore the town. First, we will visit the historic citadel, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for its well-preserved medieval architecture, cobblestone streets and colorful buildings. Next, we will climb the iconic clock tower for panoramic views of Sigisora. Our next destination is the Church on the Hill. This church dates back to the 14th century and houses impressive frescoes and a gothic altarpiece. Next, go to see the birthplace of Vlad the Impaler, the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula, located in the heart of Sigisora. Those who are interested in dark history may visit the torture museum to learn about medieval torture methods and punishments. Day 7 
Start your day early in the morning from Sighisora and depart for Alba Lulia. The drive typically takes around 2 and 1/2 to 3 hours. Upon reaching Alba Lulia, explore Alba Carolina Citadel first. This is the main attraction in the city. Here you will see the Coronation Cathedral, Union Hall, Roman Catholic Cathedral, and the impressive fortification. After lunch, depart from Alba Lulia in the early afternoon and head to Corvin Castle, which is located near the city of Hunedoara. The drive typically takes around one and a half to two hours. Upon reaching there, explore the impressive Gothic Renaissance castle. You will see the Knight Hall, Chapel, Prison Tower, and surrounding grounds here. In the evening, we will return to Sigisora. Day eight. On the eighth day, we will travel from Sigisora to Cluj. Train is the best option for this journey. There are direct train connections between Sigisora and Cluj. The journey typically takes around four to five hours. Another option is to take a bus from Sigisora to Cluj. Several bus companies operate routes between the two cities, offering multiple departures throughout the day. The journey by bus usually takes around four to five hours. Day nine. On the ninth day, we will go for a day trip from Cluj to Turda Salt Mine and Turda Gorge. These are two of Transylvania's most captivating natural attractions. Early in the morning, go to Turda. The journey typically takes around one to one and half hours by road. Upon reaching there, go to see the Turda Salt Mine. Turda Salt Mine is one of the most unique and fascinating underground attractions in Romania. Explore the vast underground chambers, tunnels, and salt lakes here. You may ride the underground ferry's wheel for a truly memorable experience. After lunch, head to Tudda Gorge, located just a short drive from the salt mine. Explore the breathtaking natural beauty of the gorge, which features towering limestone cliffs, lush vegetation, and Tudda River running through it. In the evening, make your way back to Cluj. Day ten. Today we will explore Cluj, a vibrant city in Transylvania. First, we will visit Union Square, the central square in the heart of Cluj, surrounded by historic buildings, cafes, and shops. Next, take a leisurely stroll or rent a boat on the lake. Includes largest park, Central Park. Central Park offers beautiful green spaces, playgrounds, and a charming rose garden. After that, explore one of the largest botanical gardens in southeastern Europe, featuring thousands of plant species, greenhouses, and themed gardens. Don't miss the Japanese gardens and the collection of exotic plants. Next, visit the birthplace of Matthias Cornivus, one of Hungary's most famous kings. Next, go to see Bathni Palace. Explore the museum here, which has a large collection of Romanian and European art, including paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts. Finish your tour with a hike or take a funicular to the top of Observatory Hill for stunning views of Cluj. And the surrounding countryside. This is also a popular spot for picnics and outdoor activities. Day eleven. On the eleventh day, flew back home. If you love this travel guide, then don't forget to like and share the video. Also, let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Until next time. Happy travels.